Do you know Samarkand is the eighth wonder of the world? Samarkand is one of the most ancient cities of the planet. Talking of historical destinations, people only think of Egypt or Rome, but Samarkand is so underrated. In this video, we will show you the grandeur of the Registan Square, the blue alleys of Shahi Zinda, the breathtaking dome of Guri Amir, the magnificent Bibi Khanem Mosque, and we'll spend an exciting evening in the Eternal City dancing with the friendly Uzbeki people. We will also show you some hidden gems of Samarkand which very less tourists know about. We started our day with Registan Square. This is the main landmark not just of Samarkand but of entire Uzbekistan. The word Registan means desert and this place is in the middle of a desert. This square was the central hub of the ancient Silk Route. The main feature of this square are these three massive Islamic schools called madrasas which were constructed between the 15th and the 17th centuries. This is Uluq Beg Madrasa which was built by Uluq Beg who was the grandson of Amir Timur, the founder of Timurlan dynasty. It is the oldest structure in Registan built more than 600 years ago. Since Uluq Beg was an astronomer, he depicted stars on the top of the madrasa's arc. Opposite to Uluq Beg's madrasa is the 400 year old Sherdor Madrasa. Its mosaic and symmetry makes it one of Samarkand's finest architectural gems. You can see sun and tiger attacking a deer on its arc. And this one in the middle is Tilyakori Madrasa. This also flaunts lavish mosaic art. All the three madrasas had a mosque and a library in them. Standing before these massive madrasas makes me feel so short in height. Their gigantic structures evoke a sense of awe. The level of finesse achieved with basic tools is truly remarkable. and ladies this is a super amazing shopping destination so be sure to buy the best scarf in the town we also saw artisans making the souvenirs by hand also make sure to stay one night in samarkand and watch this spectacular light show which illuminates this entire complex and makes it look magical ah next stop is shahi zinda shahi zinda is one of samarkand's most beloved site These blue buildings that you see on both sides of the alley are tombs and these tombs have some of the most impressive tile decorations in the entire Muslim world. The name Shahi Zinda means tombs of the living. Here is also the tomb of Qusm ibn Abbas who was the first cousin of the founder of Islam Prophet Muhammad. Shahi Zinda is an important pilgrimage site. At the end of the path between the tombs you'll find Samarkand's main cemetery. Standing in this blue mosaic gallery will leave you amazed. The brilliance in their work is so marvelous that surely you will exclaim what a sight. We took lots of pictures in this gallery and this could be your instagramable point too. Leaving Shahi Zinda behind let's go to Gur Amir. Our next stop is Guri Amir means the ruler's tomb. The founder of Timurlan dynasty Amir Timur is buried here. This mausoleum is an important example of Turco-Persian architecture. The beauty is beheld by this turquoise dome which changes color every hour due to its intricate groove pattern. I am absolutely in love with it. and i'm sure you might be too some experts believe that the design of this influenced many famous historic monuments like the taj mahal of india have you been to india if yes leave a comment below and let us know now let us take you to bibi khanem mosque look at the grandeur of this place magnificent At one point the Bibi Khanem Mosque was one of the largest mosques in the Islamic world. The scale of the project can be seen in the fact that 95 elephants were brought from India to help move the heavy marble used for the building's decoration. The 
the main mosque dome is 41 meters high and can give a tough competition to Gure Amir. This dome is absolutely beautiful. What a lovely sight once again. This site is quite underrated, often overlooked by tourists. In our view, it's a must-visit site. Unrestored remains allow you to feel the history of this gigantic mosque. Just in front of Bibi Khanum Mosque, there's a very famous bazaar, Seo Bazaar. Yeah, yeah. Bakey people love Indians. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Indian love is with bakey. Yeah, really. So what is the best price? You know what? Give me a price that I will buy. Don't make me go. We are heading on the outskirts of Samarkand city. We are going to Eternal City which is around 11 kilometers from Registan Square. And the cost of our taxi is just 23,000 som, which is around $2. Eternal City is a new tourist complex in Samarkand. It consists of beautiful replicas of important ancient and medieval architectural landmarks of Uzbekistan. This is a place where everyone is happy, enjoying and dancing. This place wonderfully captures the essence of the ancient city, portraying the history and traditions of Uzbek lands. Uzbekistan. <laughs> the representation of Uzbekistan is so wonderfully done here that you can wander through the streets of Samarkand, Bukhara, Fargana, Tashkent, and other cities of Samarkand within this complex. As you know, Uzbekistan is all about art and architecture. The narrow streets host numerous shops run by artists, artisans and craftsmen. And people are always generous and excited to dance on Indian songs. Let's do it! As you see, the sun is sinking in this city and then there will be rebirth of this city with the glorious light the eternal city can present. Yay! As I told you, Uluk Beg was a scholar and he had great interest in astronomy. He built one astronomical observatory in Samarkand from where he used to stargaze. He tracked path of planets and stars, but it has not survived the test of time and the only path that remains today is this curved path of a huge instrument used to track stars. Other than this, you can visit the small museum alongside the observatory where you will find many historical artifacts of Uluk Beg related to astronomy. We didn't find it much interesting though. But one interesting part about this place was the people that we met here. They were really sweet. India. I love India. <laughs> Welcome to Uzbekistan. <laughs> India, hello. <laughs> this is the Uzbeki Bulletin Afrosia, running at speeds of more than 250 km per hour. That's really fast. We are going from Samarkand to Bukhara. Right now, we are in the business class compartment of the train and we'll show you how the interiors are. Bukhara, we are coming. 